Okay, now let's go up to the edit ribbon. The edit ribbon is your word processing toolbar that allows you to apply styles to any text that you enter inside of your topic. You can also come here and insert hyperlinks, insert graphics, and so on. You can also draw tables from this view as well. If you change your mind on the template that you assigned, you can go up here to templates. And right now we had topics selected, but perhaps we want a different template. Maybe we want this to be a reference topic. We'll select reference from here. And it has just changed the template on us. All right. I always like to save after I make a change, so I'll just hit save topic here. Again, you can hit control S. You can hit the disk. You can hit the disk up here. All right. Now let's go ahead and add some text to our topic. Here's how to get technical support. Save that. I'm going to add in a new line here. All right. Now let's say I'm having kind of a Monday, and this text looks a little small to me. All right. So what we can do to kind of make this easier on our eyes is go down here and change the view. You can zoom in. I've got it at 170% at this point. All right, make it a little bit easier for you to view that text. Now let's go ahead and enter in some additional text here. Call 1-800-GET-HELP. Go to kc.authorit.com and ask your neighbor. All right, so let's say we want this to be a bulleted list. Then what we would do, go ahead and select that text here and then select the formatting that we would like to apply. Now the formatting that is available to us is dependent on what our designers have set up for us. Okay, so styles in your library are going to be dependent on what your designer has set up for you. Okay, by default, author, it's going to come with all of the common styles, body text, bullets, numbers, that sort of thing. But it's really up to your designers in order to establish what styles your authors will be using. All right, now you can apply a style from a couple different ways. You can go to your paragraph styles drop down list here. All right, and select the style. Now you can also select it from an icon. If it's a style that is associated with an icon, then you can also select it from this list here. All right. This is the way that we would assign our paragraph styles. Now you also have some character style options inside of your library as well. Again, dependent on what our designers have set up for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we can do here, let's say we wanted this to be bold. I can select my bold option here, which would be strong or this B icon here to select bold. All right. So just to apply the styles for paragraphs, just like you would in, say, Word or another type of application, select the paragraphs or click in the paragraphs, select your paragraph styles. If you'd like to apply a character style, select your characters, and then select those from your styles list here or you can select them from an icon as well. All right. Now we're going to talk about how to work with hyperlinks and graphics in the next module. So what I'll do is skip over to tables here. Let's put in a new line. And let's say I want to draw a table. All right. So right now I hit return, and what that has done is automatically added in a new bulleted list line. If that's not what I want to happen, then I can return that entry point to 
body text. So let's go back here to our styles list. Select body text. All right. And draw in a table. Now to draw in a table, you can go up to the tables area here. Select your number of rows. Select your number of columns, for example. And it will insert that table as wide as your screen. Okay, so if I had made my screen bigger, let's return that to body text, and inserted that table again, now it's enormous, okay? But what I can do is grab these handles, make that table smaller if I'd like to. I can also use a more absolute uh, measuring point by going up to my table ribbon. Now when you insert a table and author it, you get a new ribbon that displays called layout. This may be familiar to those of you who are using Word 2007 because it's basically the same procedure. As soon as you insert a table, this layout ribbon is available and it has basically every single table function that you may possibly think of, including resizing height and width uh, in an absolute manner instead of by this, you know, kind of point and see method that I was using here. All right. Now to uh, work with a table, let's say, for example, you want to apply borders to it you would select those columns or rows that you would like to apply a border to. Go up to borders and then select what option you would like. Okay. Now let's go ahead to, let's give it some shading on that top row there. And let's go with a lovely rose color. Okay. Let's see here. option, ways to get help. Now I'm just tabbing through these cells here. Call us. Let's say, let's copy that. And now paste it here. KC. Let's copy that. This time I'm going to do control C and control V. Now I want another row, so I'm going to go ahead and hit tab. Tab will give me another row here. Copy and paste. Let's say I want to get rid of this text here. I'll just select it, hit delete, all right, and now we'll hit save, all right. So one of the neat things about inserting this table is you never have to go back up and insert rows if you don't want to. You can always just keep tabbing through and it will create those rows for you. And if you don't want those rows, you can just select them and hit delete and they go away. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you get this really big uh, paragraph marker here, notice how it's sort of abnormally large. It's bigger than this one. What this is telling you is that there's no style applied to that paragraph. An author, does, author doesn't like that very much. So in order to resolve that, what you'll want to do is apply a paragraph style to that uh, marker. Now I will tell you that when you are working with tables in AuthorIt, you're always going to have to have an extra paragraph return underneath that table. Author it isn't going to allow you to have a topic that doesn't have this paragraph marker underneath it. All right, it's just the nature of working with tables in author it. So there's always going to be this return here. So if this becomes a spacing problem for you where maybe it's throwing off spacing on, on your Microsoft Word or PDF pages, what you can do is apply a special style to this paragraph marker that makes that paragraph marker, say, like one point white, for example. And that's all that style does is apply a one point white uh, font to that paragraph marker. And then that way that paragraph marker is barely there underneath your table.
Okay. So this is the edit ribbon. We've got our formatting options here. We're going to talk about these options in the next module in our table module here. And again, when you click in that table, that layout ribbon becomes available to you.